Finally, for uh, CMS, we have the current spokesperson uh, since uh, 2011 and the only fellow American on stage, uh, Joe Incandela. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. This is uh, an unbelievable honor to be here uh, to accept this special award. It really does celebrate the work of thousands of really brilliant, uh, creative, and dedicated people of many professions. Uh, I've been in CMS for almost 16 years, so I'm a relative uh, newcomer compared to the other guys here who have been here for more than 20 years. Uh, I was there at, at the beginning, in fact. I, I worked uh, with uh, Fabiola and um, Peter Yenny on the UA2 experiment years ago and at the start of, of uh, the, what became Atlas, I think. Uh, it's been an incredible, incredible um, ride. I, I, I don't know how else to put it. If, if I look at the last 10 years in particular, there was almost a continuous uh, string of impossible hurdles to overcome with very, very tight time pressure. And uh, it was incredibly intense. During uh, final construction, we faced all kinds of problems, found many, we, we just looked constantly for any flaw that could occur because we knew we had to run a long time. Anything could kill us in the long, in the long run if we weren't uh, really careful. And then came a very intense period where we prepared for first, first data taking and uh, prepared basically to do data analysis across systems of, of computing centers, maybe more than 50 centers worldwide. It's something that had never been done before. And this took a lot of effort. There were three years of, of, of effort along this uh, line. And then we turned simulation exercises into real data analysis and produced fabulous results. We've talked about the Higgs. Uh, we have over 500 pub uh, publications from Atlas and CMS, split roughly equally between them. Uh, never before have I read so much in so little time, actually. But uh, it's really been quite amazing. And, and each of us has an amazing story to tell because each of the members of these collaborations had to overcome obstacles, many obstacles, to make this a success. Each of us. We often say that it, it is something like a symphony, our, our collaborations. And, and I like that analogy because, uh, well, there's a director who stands up waving things, uh, maybe doesn't do very much. But there are people with tremendous talent, and, and they all have to perform well or the, the music is spoiled. So everyone has, to, to reach the point that we have here, everyone has succeeded, and, and that's quite a feat. We're also a global symphony with more than 40 countries, and it really shows, as Nima and others have said, what you can do if you set aside your differences and, and work together. Now I'd like to thank a few people. It really took an incredible machine operated with incredible uh, skill, and I want to thank Steve Meyer, Mike Lamont, and all the LHC team for the operations they, they carried through and how they pushed us really to the wall with very high intensity and, and also thank them for going to ATV. It was really great. I thank my fellow laureates on CMS and Atlas. In fact, I've, I've, I've worked obviously with all of them in one time or another and they've all influenced me in a big way. And it's a great honor to be counted among them. Finally, as the current leader of CMS, I want to remind all of the uh, young people here that you have to get back to work after this. And, uh, <laughs> We still have the BB Bar channel and the combination. No, I'm kidding. Actually, as the current leader of CMS, I want to say again that this award is for all of you and for all of us. You will recognize that phrase. This is for all of you and for all of us. Because of all of you and all of us, to my wife, my sons, uh, parents, sisters, my extended family, and to all of your families, thanks so much for putting up with us working so much. Uh, I hope we were not too grouchy for all those years. To our thesis advisors and the great teachers who inspired us, thanks for showing us we could do way more than we ever imagined, and we hope we can do the same for our students. So it has been 48 years since the idea has been hatched, 20 years to design and build this great complex, three years to acquire the data, and a generation of work by thousands. Uh, we did it for the science. We did not expect to get awards, but we are very grateful to and very surprised uh, and happy to receive this award, and we thank uh, the foundation for that. Thank you very much. <laughs>